Okay, we come to this part in the trail here. And I'll see if I can zoom in here. But it has actually turned into a stream. So we'll be uh, going up here. What do you think so far, Steve? Pretty exhausted yet? Eh, a little bit. Yeah. A little huffing and puffing here and there. I think we're in it. Yeah. See the bike's actually bobbing up and down. There's quite a few rocks here. But uh, when you're on trails like this, you do encounter, you know, little streams and little obstacles. It makes it a little interesting. Okay, I made it up. Here comes Doug to see what he can do. A little rocky, as you can see. Just a little bit. What do you think so far, Steve? Great. Yeah. Looks like an easy one for two years, what? Huh? Yeah. Well, you want to go ahead? I'll get you coming up just whenever you're ready. I saw someone when I hear the bike start. He seems to be scratching his head. I think he's uh, sort of baffled trying to figure out how he's going to get up here. Uh, he looks a little concerned maybe, but we'll get him coming up. As you can see, it's even sort of hard to walk. It's just pretty rocky. You know, when you're navigating over these rocks, all of is going to get a drink. Good thing I ran through it and got it all muddy for him. So Steve should be coming up shortly. But, oh, here he comes now. He's having trouble even starting. But between the rocks and the mud, with the water running through, it is a little bit slow. You see the little hole he's going through. Uh oh, maybe he's going to wipe out here. You know what? He saved it. So whenever you're going to fall, you always want to fall towards the uphill. If you lean down, though, sometimes your foot carries and you usually end up wiping out. Definitely see he's having a little trouble here. You really got to be able to appreciate the rockiness and the, you know, how difficult this trail actually is. We have a tree in there. So far today, we haven't had any wipeouts. Okay, here's a little footage of uh, oh. Doug. He got a sea string caught oh. underneath the rocks oh. and uh, got the tripod. Just fell on him. Just what? Okay, what's around me? The camera. Oh. Fell down, I had to pick it up. Oh, look at this. Let's zoom in here look and see this. this. You can see the shoe screen. You can see this. Here's the shoe screen. I'm trying to walk and my leg went down. Oh, man. Hurt my elbow. Look at that. You're going to be alright? Yeah. Camera can fly right off the tripod. That's it. It's funny, but in a way, it's not. Yeah. It's funny, but in a way, it's not. I don't believe that. Yeah. 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 You want to check your elbow? And that was walking. Come over here. Walking. Let's check your elbow from this side of the view here. Ah, probably ain't nothing. Ah, couldn't have been. You know, these shirts have padding on them. Probably nothing at all. Well, as you can see right there, there's a little elbow. bruise. If you an elbow where it bends, it hurts a little bit more, but... You know, once you're riding, these little pains go away. Maybe if you get lucky, you get another one in. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to get this ring off here. 
Maybe I'll take this right off the trail so it don't happen to somebody else. Yeah. How do you expect to ride it when you can't even walk? <laughs> All righty. Let's give this uh, trail a ride, Steve. Maybe you can pan up there. Give them a shot of what it looks like up there. This is what it looks like from the, where we're at. Like we were saying, this is just more or less carrying the camera. You don't even have to pack it up. It's so rocky. Get some good shots here. So what do you think so far, Steve? Uh, Play rocky. Yeah, uh, rock, Rocky Mountains here, or what? Might as well say that's what it is. So what do you think, just uh, go up there? I think this is only, what, a 15-minute trail? Yeah, only a wish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh... Is that one way, or is that both? I don't know. Yeah. Are you going to try this? No. I know we don't exactly have this on the... I'll let Eve do it. Yeah. Well, if you want to take a shot here, I'll take it right up and tell you how easy it is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right, you're right. Yeah. This is where we're at, where the bikes are here. We go from Doug's front tire straight up. Big rocks like that. You gotta head up over. Well, it don't get any easier, as you can see. It just keeps getting a little worse and worse. All the way up, top of the mountain. What do you think, Eva? I don't know, but you know, this would be a good time while we're right here. You know, when we do this show, every time we do a shot, we got to pack all our equipment up. So what we basically do is uh, we got a shockproof case here, we got to put the camera in it. We got rubber bands that go around. We have to put it in here, take it out, back up the tripod, That's one of the reasons why I think you don't see no shows on trail riding, because you got to pack it, unpack it, pack it up, unpack it. Yeah. You see motocross shows, you know, it's around the track, they have their permanent things set up. And see, I think that's one of the reasons why you don't see any really trail riding shows. It is a pain, you know? It is. But it's really cool to watch it when it's done. A lot of people don't want to take the pain. Yeah. If it was just uh, clear, easy trails, it'd be not really to watch. It'd be like watching cars on a highway going. <laughs> what we do every time, pack up everything. So that's what we do. Put the equipment on, plus we're riding up these rocks. The backpack's bobbing all over the place. I think it's really worth doing it. If you had a four-wheeler or something could ride double, we could save a lot of walking. You can't even get up. <laughs> no exhaustion sets in. Well, I'll try to hit up this trail and see what we do. probably the size of your car tire, if not bigger. See how rocky that is? Pull on your body. Oh. A little bit of a workout. Nice. A little bit of a workout. Yeah. Yeah. You gonna try to go down some more? Still going down. 
bike stall. He stalled it. You can hear him hollering. He stalled it. It's not an easy task. Some people can do it. Some people can't. But, as you do it for a while, you get a little better. Tell you what. It looks easy. But then he got more speed up. Every time I try to get into second, the rocks just slow you down. This is really a second or third gear trip. So, I gotta take a break. I bet I win the best hair contest. <laughs> Olympic event. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Oh. How's that elbow, Doc? If you hit something, you're always going to hit it. Alrighty. Sore? Yeah. Yeah, good. Hey, anyway, here's the thing. Here's that string I tripped on. Glad you don't run. Yeah. Tons of rocks and a tons of an old shoestring destroyed me. <laughs> That's what you know when you get trail riding. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, you could fall on a little straight away. You can wipe out even going across wet grass. There's so many things can happen. But that's why it's such a good sport. I think I'll toss this in the woods. And... Oh, man. Watch, we'll get down the road and we'll need a string to tie something on. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that's about all we have time for for our show today. Today, but we uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're thinking about trail riding, not all the trails we've done are going to be uh, this hard. There's a lot of much easier trails. And uh, like I said, I just hope you enjoy the show. And uh, we will be returning to this uh, Oak Turn Trail, but... Uh, We'll return, we'll have some four-wheelers, and we really have some good footage for you. Until the next time, hope you enjoy Trail Riding in the Berkshire with me, Doug Greenlaw, and Steve Decker. See you in the next show. Have a good one.